Hi, welcome to Room 5. My name's Susie and I'm going to talk to you today about skydiving. Skydiving is what some consider to be a fairly extreme sport, being that because it involves jumping out of planes from a great height. It wasn't something that I'd ever really considered doing um, and it's something that a lot of people don't really get the opportunity to do during their lifetime. But I happened to receive a phone call from a friend telling me that I had uh, an appointment booked, wonderful, in a week's time. So I spent six days ignoring the fact and then got to the seventh day and panicked. So on the fateful day, um, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. I had a meeting in the morning with my boss from work, which wasn't actually scheduled, nearly missed my train, hit traffic, and it was starting to get dark, which means that you can't jump. Uh, we arrived at the airfield, and I wasn't sure whether I was relieved or, or not, because they said that I could, I could jump. So they made me sign this waiver saying that I had willingly thrown myself out of the plane, um, and we had to get into our jumpsuits, which is like an air-resistant type, type suit, which helps you to glide, helps you to do uh, aerobatics and that kind of thing, which I wasn't planning on doing. Um, and then they tell you the, the position to assume once you jump from the plane. Um, and then basically, that's it, you're away. And I thought, oh my God, this is all happening so quickly. Um, and what I was about to do was a tandem jump, because when you've never jumped before, you have to have an instructor, um, which obviously then keeps you uh, in the place that you need to be, and then he is the one that's in charge of pulling the chute. So we went up in the plane, there was about five of us. I was absolutely terrified. I have a DVD of the look on my face, sheer terror. Um, and I was strapped to this other person and these people just started jumping out of this plane left, right and centre, absolute adrenaline junkies, they were loving it. And me and this guy tried to shuffle out of this plane like an elephant because we were just so, so big with the two of us. And we threw ourselves backwards out of this plane like a somersault. And as the air hit me and the, I could see the ground hurtling towards me, I just completely freaked out. I couldn't breathe, uh, I couldn't speak, I couldn't do anything. Sensory overwhelmment completely. Um, and then eventually I managed to take a breath and the guy with the camera zoomed in like this, like going like this at me and all I could do was stare at the ground coming towards me at 160 miles an hour. Um, and eventually I kind of calmed down, it was great, got to take in a bit of the view. Uh, we pulled our parachute, which shot us right back up to where we'd just come from. Um, and this bit was the most enjoyable bit, I would say. You got to see the white cliffs of uh, Filey and all this kind of thing. And we got to swoop in on one side and swoop in on the other side, because when you pull your, your parachute, um, you, can, you can steer. Uh, and then he swirled me around a few times and we hurtled towards the ground. And then that was it, basically. We came in for landing. I had to stick my legs right up in the air so that the, the tandem jump instructor could come in for a proper landing um, and then we all had a little group photo and I was completely deaf from the wind in my ears and completely overwhelmed but I still managed to to feign a little smile for the photo because I was absolutely chuffed that I'd managed to do it for myself. So that was my skydiving experience. It was a little bit crazy, a little bit frantic but it was wonderful. I would highly recommend it to anyone who's a little bit daring. So thanks for watching, you've been watching Room 5, I'm Susie, come back soon.